Hey guys, my name is Daniel Modeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling us all to be here. I always tell you that guys, the gift of life is the most special gift you can get every day. And so it's important for you to be quick to give God all the thanks for seeing a new day. Well, I'd also like to say Asante Sana guys, for just recently we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And it's all to the glory and honor of the Lord. And secondly, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because without you watching, without you subscribing, then we would not be here. And so thank you so much. And I pray that we shall continue growing, that you will continue learning from this channel how to become the person God created you to be. Because by the end of the day, our purpose is to ensure that all of us live a life of purpose, plan, and passion. And so guys, continue subscribing, like the videos, because the more you like the videos, the more YouTube recommends them to other viewers. And so the more we spread the word to many more people. So thank you so much, guys, and God bless you, and continue doing what you're doing. Well, in today's video, guys, and let us talk about something that all of us have gone through. You know, a lot of us have been in situations that have been very, very challenging. Situations that have been very difficult for us to explain. However, some of us come out the other side with positive results, while others do not. They get lost in the difficult situations and they end up feeling completely, completely destroyed and defeated by them. And today I want us to talk about refining fire. You know guys, in life, a lot of times, we all go through situations that we cannot explain. Situations that do not make sense to our minds at that moment. Tough times that you ask yourself, why is this happening to me? But I'll tell you, a lot of times, my friends, everything you are going through is for purpose and plan. In hindsight, with time, it tends to become clear. Guys, let's talk about the story of Joseph for a minute. In the Bible, you all know about Joseph. Joseph had a great dream and he saw himself being a very great person. He saw his family and other people bowing down before him. And so, right after he saw his vision and he shared it with his friends and family, things went south for Joseph. His brothers wanted to kill him. They fortunately opted to sell him into slavery in Egypt. So he finds himself in Potiphar's house where he devotes himself to do a lovely, amazing job. But sooner than that, he didn't realize that Potiphar's wife wanted him. And unfortunately, he ended up in prison because she framed him for assault. You know, everything is just going south for this guy. He saw a great vision, but everything that is happening is opposite. Nothing that is happening is in alignment to what he saw. And so in prison, he gets a chance to interpret the dream of two people. One who later becomes a cupbearer who introduced him to the king. And Joseph was able to interpret the dream that Pharaoh had. And I think in less than five hours, Joseph moves from being a prisoner to being the prime minister of Egypt, to being the governor of the land. And if you look back and see the journey he had to go through, that was a training process that was making him become the person that God wanted him to be as governor of Egypt. My friends, a lot of things are happening in our lives today. And another perfect example I'll give you is this channel. This video you're watching today is a product of tough times. You all have watched about my story with the accident, a time when I was in hospital, wondering what shall be of me? Why has this happened? It was the darkest season I ever had. But friends, God was doing a new thing in that time. 
God was doing something different in my life. We just finished the week of Easter. Jesus went through so much pain, so much suffering, to a point that when he was praying, he asked God himself, take away this cup of suffering, for it's too much to bear. But he said, if it is your will that I should bear it, then let me continue. Today you and I are free because of the pain that he went through. Guys, you are not going through pain for waste. You are going through pain for gain. But remember when I started the video, I said that some people go through situations and they make them stronger. Unfortunately, some people go through situations and those situations do not make them stronger. They actually break them. And today I'm here to talk to those people who are feeling that their current situations are here to destroy them. That their current situations are here to completely finish them. And I want to tell you one thing. That all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called in accordance to his purpose. Everything I went through during my healing period, I see what it's doing today. Because when I was healing, I was reading the word of God. When I was healing, I was engaging so much mentally and spiritually in the things of God. I surrounded myself with people who are anchored in God. And so now I see the foundation that I needed to be doing what it is I'm doing now. Then it looked painful, but now I see it was a lesson. And so one thing I want to tell you, my friends, is the world and a lot of us say that experience is the best teacher. I don't want to refute that. But I had something today from a friend of mine who told me, Daniel, experience without evaluation is useless. And so the best teacher is evaluated experience. You must be able to sit down and evaluate the times you have gone through. You must be able to sit down and evaluate the season you are going through. You know, it is useless for a farmer to be getting bad yield from his crop, but never going to understand why. Why is he getting bad yield? Is it because the soil that he has does not have the proper nutrients? Is it because he's using the wrong water? Or is it because he has the wrong employees who don't understand what they need to do to the farm? And so experience by itself can only keep you there. But experience with evaluation will help you understand the reason for the season you are currently in. And so my friends, what I want to tell you is this, that whatever you are going through, the most important thing to do is to have a post-mortem. Sit down and look deeply and ask yourself, why? All right? Why is this happening to me? If you don't do that, then guess what? A season will come and pass and you'll be the same person. A season will come and pass and you'd have learned nothing. And so you must ask yourself four very important questions. The first one is, what is it that I had intended to do? What was your intention in a certain season in your life? What had you planned to do? What was your original intent? Okay? And once that is very clear, the second question you need to ask yourself is why did that not happen? Why have I been unable to achieve that which I set myself out to achieve? You know, when you ask yourself such questions, then you're able to digest why. All right? You are able to dissect the situation, look deeper and see, aha, uh -huh, so I did not achieve this because of ABCD. I did not achieve this because of ABCD. And so what you're doing is just breaking it down to get to a point to understand 
this is what I wanted to do, this is where I am. When you understand the why that is in between, now the third question is this, what lessons do you learn from your why? What lessons are you learning from what which stopped you from achieving your goal? Are there things you need to drop in your life? Did you not achieve it because you have the wrong circles? Did you not achieve it because you had the wrong motive? Did you not achieve it because of certain factors that you need to drop? And what are these other things that you must adopt to ensure that you achieve that certain goal? And the fourth thing you must do is you must build behavior that will correspond to that which you want to achieve. You must build belief that will correspond to that which you want to achieve. My friends, we are what we believe. And so probably you have not achieved because of the limiting beliefs that you have in your life today. The things that you keep replaying in your mind, I'm not good enough, I'm not worth it, there are better people than me, I'm not the best at this, somebody else can do it better. Probably you have never achieved because of that self-doubt, that limiting belief that keeps playing in your mind. And so it is absolutely important that you change that and create a culture in you that can propel you towards your targets. And so my friends, not everything you go through is for waste. The difference is, if you do not evaluate your experiences, then you can never learn from them. If you not sit down and break them down and see why was this happening, then you can never learn from it. And that's why when I started the video I said, some improve from difficulty. Some become better people from challenges, while others get destroyed by the same challenges. The difference between those two people is their ability to evaluate their experiences. I can only imagine what the country is going through right now. A lot of people have lost jobs. A lot of people don't know what to do. A lot of people cannot provide a solid meal on the table for their families. And we are all in the dark, finding a very tough situation to be in. But I want to tell you one thing, there is a silver lining. There is a silver lining with what you're going through. The only thing is that you must evaluate and see what it is. Nothing happens for granted, my friends. Everything happens for a plan and purpose for those who love the Lord. I purposed in my life that I will not be one who complains and grumbles to God through difficult times. I will always ask him, show me the silver lining. Show me what I should be learning from this. It's like one who does not learn to buy warm clothes during winter. The next season when winter comes, you still have your t-shirt. You haven't learned that you need to buy warm clothes. And so this situation that the world is going through, I want you to personalize it. Stop putting it like it's everybody going through the same thing. I want you to personalize this thing to you. What is my current situation teaching me? What is my current situation telling me? For some of you, COVID has come to close a certain door that you always thought is your door to your future. And it's forcing you to where you should be. And so the biggest mistake you can do is to hold on to the past while there's something else you need to be doing. And so you must realize that. For some of you, it's teaching you to be better people. It's teaching you to appreciate yourself more, to love yourself more. And so guys, 
I believe that there is always a silver lining in every situation. And say, let us not be people who grumble. I want you to sit down, seek God, and try to understand what lessons are this that I'm going through in this time in my life. I can imagine how difficult it has been for many. But my prayer is that God will continually be with us and bless us. And he will clarify in your mind that which he wants you to pick up from this season. Because the good news is this. Nothing lasts forever. Good or bad. And so if your season is tough right now, remember, it will not last forever. If you are going through a good season, also remember, it will not last forever. As Joseph did, the seven years of plenty that they had in Egypt, they stored in anticipation of the seven years of luck. And so, if things are good for you, learn how to prepare for bad times. If things are bad for you, build yourself, equip yourself, grow, build your foundations, so that when the good times come, you can maximize them. Okay? And so I'd like us to make a quick prayer. Father Lord, I pray that Master, you will clarify to us as to why we are going through what we are going through. As to why, Heavenly Father, you are taking us through situations in our lives. That God, we will understand that they are here to build us and not to destroy us. Give us the ability to see the silver lining. And honor and glory shall be to your name. And so, my friends, remember, silver has to be passed through fire and flame so that you can separate the impurities from the silver. Gold has to go through very high temperatures so that you can separate the impurities from the precious metal. And sometimes in our lives, we have to go through such situations. We have to go through refining fire so that we can be separated from what is good and what is bad in our lives. The best thing to do is to evaluate so that you can pick the lessons in that. And so thank you guys. May God bless you. And remember, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, because the more you like the videos, the more YouTube recommends it to other viewers, and the more we can share this word to many more people. And so may God bless you guys. Have a good one and keep safe. Until next time, take care.